let's look at the gross anatomy of the spinal cord. This is the superior end of the body, and this is the inferior end of the body. The spinal cord starts up here by the medulla oblongata of the brain, which is what we will look at next week. And then it actually ends down here around the area of L1 at a structure called the conus medullaris. We have four parts of the spinal cord. We have the cervical, thoracic, lumbar, and sacral parts. We also have two enlargements. We have the cervical enlargement and the lumbosacral enlargement. And those enlargements are simply widened portions of the spinal cord where we see lots of nerves branching off um, to the upper and the lower extremities. Recall that the actual end of the spinal cord is here at this structure called the conus medullaris. Think cone, it looks like a cone. So as is normally the case, the name of the terminology um, gives us a visual representation, which is pretty nice. And this conus medullaris falls at around the level of L1 or the first lumbar vertebra. I've zoomed into the inferior portion of the body. Again, here we have that conus medullaris. And if we were to follow this strand right here, we would see that it takes us to the coccyx. And that single strand is called the phylum terminal. It is actually an extension of the innermost meninx, which is called the pia mater. And that phylum terminal is what anchors the spinal cord to this bony structure, the coccyx. This bundle you see right here, um, these are spinal nerve roots from the lumbar, sacral, and coccygeal uh, spinal nerves. And it kind of looks like a horse's tail. So this collection of nerve roots you see here is referred to as the cauda equina. Cauda meaning tail, uh, equus or an equina referring to horse. So think of it as like a little ponytail. Here we have a torso model which shows some of these structures here. Up here we have the conus medullaris. Remember that this marks the end of the spinal cord. Um, and if you're like me, you know, before I really started to study this, I thought my spinal cord went all the way down but it ends way up here at the inferior border of L1, or your first lumbar vertebra. So right there is the conus medullaris. Remember that we have a single strand. It's, it's an extension of that pia mater that goes all the way down, and it will connect this to the coccyx down there. And then this structure right here, all these yellow fibers that you see, that's the ponytail, or the cauda equina. And the cauda equina is made up of the spinal nerve roots of the lumbar, sacral, and coccygeal regions. Using this model to think about some procedures, um, so let's take a lumbar puncture, for example. That is a procedure that takes place typically between L3 and L4, or L4 and L5. So the needle gets inserted at either this level or this level. And when you think of it like that, is the needle going anywhere near the spinal cord? Hopefully you're saying no, because the spinal cord ends where? Way up here. So this is why this is um, a safe procedure. The needle is not going to puncture the spinal cord. My biggest tip for these structures is to slow it down. Um, what I would do is I would write down the terminology, write out what those words mean, and then match them to these areas. And I think that will help you a lot on this. So I hope that helps and I'll see you guys next time. Wanna stay up to date on my latest videos? Please hit like and subscribe. And don't forget to check my Instagram page, at The Anatomy Gal. See you next time.